I'm joined now by activist Nona Herkmans, one of the organizers behind the Trump baby blimp. Uh, thank you for joining us. What are you trying to achieve with this uh, baby blimp? Um, well, with this um, giant inflatable Trump baby, we're um, trying to protest uh, basically Trump's policies and his toxic politics. Um, but we're kind of trying to do that with, uh, with a humorous note. And with the humor, what exactly are you trying to say uh, about Donald Trump? Well, um, we went with a baby because we feel that um, Trump's has a lot of the character characteristics of a baby, um, such as throwing your toys out of the pram or, or throwing tantrums. Um, and we think that those qualities are very problematic for um, the leader of a nation. So that's why we decided to highlight those. As you know, there's some evidence that Donald Trump himself does not want to be perceived as a baby. Uh, is that part of your goal here, is that you hope to troll or enrage him personally, or is your goal more to depict him this way to affect others' views of him? Um, we were not aware of, um, I've, I've seen the quote about him saying that he doesn't want to be compared uh, to a baby. We weren't aware of that when we designed um, uh, the blimp. Um, I think what we were considering when we were planning this protest is kind of what would have an effect. So we've seen that um, moral outrage doesn't uh, work with uh, Donald Trump. He just harnesses that outrage and kind of to blame shift onto the people who he is outraging. Um, general, just normal diplomacy doesn't work with him, reasoning doesn't work with him, but he really hates being mocked. So that definitely came into play when we were when we were designing uh, the blimp. So what do you expect to happen at these protests? How do you hope they will resonate both in, in your country and potentially in ours this week? Well, I think one of the reasons why we protest is to, to send a message to people who have been affected by uh, Trump's disastrous policies, um, migrants, refugees, but also people who are affected by uh, climate change. And, and I guess one of the messages that we're trying to send is that we're uh, still here and we're still resisting um, and, you know, there's still someone on their side. And from the messages that we've had, um, it seems to really resonate. And I feel uh, we feel that we've definitely accomplished at least that goal. Um, with this protest. Nona Herkmans, thank you. Thank you.